Jones. Did you miss me? Yeah, I do. Got a fresh haircut from 2018 just to make this video, ladies and gentlemen. How's your day? Rudy here, Timmy's Emporium. Today we got a little Magic 30th anniversary uh, follow-up because apparently the the big Magic event is starting this weekend. And by the time you're watching this, and I forgot, and um, I guess Wizards handed out about 2,000 packs of Magic 30th anniversary. Remember, 250 to $275 a pack with tax. Uh, these were given part of their little bundles and packets. And some videos of these pack openings are starting to hit YouTube, and some sealed packs are starting to hit eBay. Um, well, um, kind of how fresh my hair looks right now. Ugh, it's a little, it's not going so great. There's about two, three, four videos hitting YouTube with some pack openings, and they are quite brutal, to say the least. Um, I don't know if this is what they had planned. Um, so we're seeing some people put the sealed packs on eBay for about $500 a pack. As of filming of this, uh, with, if you buy that, good luck. Um, I don't know, folks. Um, as of right now, I'm still debating whether or not to even buy a single one just to do a box opening. Um, have not made my decision right now to even have a box opening of this 30th anniversary thing to give it, obviously if I do a video and I open even one box of four packs, most likely that video is going to get between 50, actually probably a video like that, probably be 100,000 views. I just don't know if that's the right path to take right now. I'm watching some of these openings and it's just, it's essentially going one or the other. You either hit a piece of power and it's, everyone gets excited or you don't, and everybody cringes. There's not really much middle ground. The dual lands are two times as printed, so they're not really a normal rare. It's kind of an uncommon. Um, and then some other pictures are surfacing now about uh, Magic's 30th anniversary event of everybody playing in the hall next door instead of the command zone because the prices were too high, so everybody got together and starts playing next door. and You can really feel the pushback of the player, collector, investor, LGS, you can feel a pushback of everybody. And we always joked on this channel, in order for something to change, everyone's gonna have to unite and push back. And we always laugh, saying, that's never gonna happen like you have Stepsister Wednesday. It's just never gonna happen. And here we are, going to, God, really, Q4 2022, and for the first time in the 30 years, in the CCG Magic world, we are seeing a huge united front of pushing back on what's going on. And um, so far, the pack openings of this Magic 30th anniversary are concerning, to say the least. Um, I still stand by my original opinion, which is I believe this product will be listed for sale by Wizards Direct. And they are going to sell out. They are going to call it a massive success. They are going to report that to corporate, the Suits, the Bobs, and Lumberg will make them come in on Sunday. And that's going to give them the green light to do anniversary products for everything from White Bordered Unlimited all the way to Arabian Nights Legends Antiquities. Uh, although Arabian Nights might be a tough one because there's only like 90 cards in the set and probably 10% of them are, are illegal to look at or own. So I don't know. They may have to skip Arabian Nights, but I don't know. It's such a, a powerhouse of money for them to make non-tournament legal copies that are new that aren't magic cards but they're collect I, who knows so that's where it's at right now not a dramatic video today i just want to report i've been sitting back working behind the scenes for patrons and orders and getting everything caught back up and um i'm just kind of watching everything right now and uh it remains concerning um i have never seen such anger divisiveness and um a united front towards a company before I've never seen that before, especially in my years of CCGs. This is a very, very rare, probably Black Swan era we're in right now. I, I'd be willing to call this a Black Swan event because I can't think of any other particular, maybe maybe in 95, 96 or you know, when they did Chronicles and then everybody threw a, the whole market went into the chaos and they, they invented the reserve list. Maybe that was the only other time. But again, I was young and I didn't have any money and all I had were 4th edition Ice Age cards and revised cards so I didn't know any different and I wasn't paying attention. There was no internet, there was no quick moving information and you know media to really understand what was happening. So based on this, 
Uh, I still think it's going to sell out. I still think it's going to be a very hot item for the all the people who do these box breaks and streaming. It's going to be a very major... And depending how quick it sells out, not if, but depending how quick this product sells out, will dictate the price on the secondary market for sealed product, not singles. So, for example, if, they, if Wizards launches this sale at noon on a Monday and it sells out within 30 minutes to an hour, or anything under an hour, honestly, then yes, that, the, the pent-up demand of people who couldn't buy it is going to spill over to eBay and people are going to be paying a surcharge. Remember, these are not $250 a pack. They're $1,000 for four packs plus tax. So for most people, it's going to be almost $1,100 shipped. So essentially, these are about $270 to $280 a pack shipped, depending where you're located. Let's just call it $270. So $270 a pack, even for people to flip these on eBay, they're going to have to sell for $350 a pack after shipping and fees just to break even of the $270 price point and make it really, what, make $5 or $10? I mean, it's a very, you know... So that kind of puts a floor price for flippers at like selling one little box instead of eleven hundred. They're going to sell for thirteen, fourteen hundred range to kind of break even, which means if people are buying this to flip, you essentially have to flip it for like two thousand dollars on eBay. So you can net what seventeen hundred ish, eighteen, seventeen, eighteen hundred range. So, but are people going to be willing to pay five hundred to five fifty a pack with shipping and fees and taxes on the open market? I, I, again, remember folks, we're going to cut this video off here because I'm just going to keep watching everything unfold. If you want 36 packs, a pseudo booster box of Magic 30th, you essentially, do you know how much you have to spend? Well, four packs is $1,000 plus tax. Well, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, add tax. You're almost at like $10,000 depending where you are with taxes and the fees. And let's just call it 9000 Well, actually, I guess it's kind of probably... Well, whatever. Are you willing to pay that much money for 36 packs of proxies? And in 36 packs, you're going to get a piece of power. It's just a question of do you get one piece, new, new CCG, two pieces, three or four. It's The question on 36 packs is how many do you get? But the also the next question is, for ten thousand dollars, you can buy three unlimited actual pieces of power, probably three different moxins. For ten thousand dollars, you can probably buy two five thousand dollar beta actual OG original the real deal. I think you had ten fifteen thousand range. You can actually buy a white bordered unlimited black lotus the real deal. So that's the that's the problem we run into here, because. Every I've asked so many people on this, and everybody I've asked is the same thing. I, they say, "Well, Rudy, I'm doing really well in 2022, and post COVID, all this stuff, and you know, and I have some extra money, and I've been adding to my 401k and mutual funds." I said, well, "That's smart, especially with the turbulence in the stock market." And, you know, I've been diversifying collectibles, and crypto's cheap, and real estate's coming down, and I've been adding to all my accounts. I said, "Well, yeah, diversify, it's great." And I'm like, "Are you gonna buy a bunch of Magic 30th?" collectible proxy cards and you know the person told me well if I want a full set I'm gonna have to spend like a hundred thousand dollars crack enough packs build it and then sell the extras and if I'm gonna spend like a hundred thousand dollars just buy an actual buy everything you want in the world of magic and that's what I'm saying the whole system is so twisted it makes it very difficult to argue for this product and I still I'll never forget the moment I heard the announcement on this I was so excited I saw a new collector's edition or international collector's being announced by Wizards for the 30th. I was like, whoa, this is awesome. And I saw the 999. I was like, hey, the original collector's edition. So I have one around here. The original collector's edition was only $50. But I was like, hey, $999 for a complete set? Honestly, that's a great deal. And then I realized, well, it has to be randomized for some sort of legality weird stuff. or Otherwise, you're selling value of secondary. I don't know. It has to be a randomized whatever stupid thing. And then I realized that it's four little packs, and after seeing these first few YouTube videos showing up of people cracking packs and getting, like, yikes, holy smokes, man, the risk for downside losses is massive. If you, you could open probably four, eight, twelve packs, and you could get unlucky. 
and get no pieces of power. Some dual lands and some other mid-range rares, but holy smokes, you could get annihilated. And that's a scary thing. That downside risk is far greater than I had realized originally. So I don't. I remain very skeptical of how this is going to unfold. <laughs> um, I remain confident that it's going to. Wizards going to launch it. It's going to sell out. Now whether it sells out or they just cut off the sale to make you think it sold out and they just sit on the rest because it costs them nothing to make this, or whether it truly has extreme demand and just for flipping is yet to be determined. I do believe one way or the other, it's going to sell out within an hour. Um, whether it's an authentic sellout or a make you think it's a sellout for pent up demand, I don't know. On top of that, it remains to be seen people pulling, you know, Pure Lace, Death Lace, Fungusaur, Blessing, Rock Occur Ridges, Rock Hydra, Granite Gargoyle. You know, when people start pulling these normal rares, where are some other good ones? Uh, Animate Wall, Drain Power. Wait, Drain Power? Drain Life. Yeah, I, when they're pulling some of these, are these going to be priced at half the price of Collector's Edition? Which some of these cards in Collector's Editions may be $20, 50 $80. So are these rares going to be $10, $20 rares? And if they are $10, $20 rares, is that making a good long-term cost basis to jump in from everybody else? Or is it simply you're just buying something that... No, are people only wanting it just for the pieces of power? There's so much variable risk in this. It scares the living hell out of me. And again, that's why I, I don't... I'm undecided, ladies and gentlemen, if I'm actually going to even buy one for a box opening. And I know I'm going to get patrons... I'm going to say, Rudy, I bought some. Can I send them to you to open on the channel? Because if I decide not to buy it, people are going to literally just say, hey, can I send you one to open? I'm going to get that. And as of right now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm on the fence of whether to do it or not. Because I know, similar to when I launched you know, the Double Masters or a VIP Collectors or Ultimate Masters or any form of major release, if I do a dramatic box opening or a crazy intro with music and I really push it, the video will get 100,000 plus views. And I don't know if it's something I should assist in. You know? That, that's the thing. I just don't know if I make a video or two and I do those and gets the reach gets that far and that really helps Wizards and really helps accelerate this direction. I don't know if that's the right thing to do for me at this point in time. You know? 